Hey guys, Stacy here with Life's a Project. So today I wanted to do an out of the box first impression comparison on a couple of products. So I have really been wanting one of these pop-up bags or collapsible garden bags. Um, so I went on to Amazon.com and started to look at different products, different brands, started reading their reviews, the good and the bad, and I think I have narrowed it down to a couple of brands and I wanted to just get a closer look and try to compare to see which one of the features, you know, that I may like better than the other. So let's just get right into it. So first is the Fiskars Premium Kangaroo Pop-Up Bag. It's in the 30 gallon size. It has the plastic reinforced bottom and it costs $31.71. So next is the Sleek Garden Pro Garden Leaf Bag. And this one also has the reinforced plastic bottom, also in that 30 gallon size, and it's $30.99. So here's the Fiskars still in its collapsed state but out of the packaging measuring just a few inches tall so it can be easily stored away so here's a look at the sleek garden also out of its packaging and in its collapsed state so it too can also be easily stored away when not in use so here's a close-up of the Fiskars closure device it's more of that toggle and loop design whereas the sleek garden has the Fastex style buckles uh, for that quick release. Uh, so this may just be a personal preference for you. Both of them work. It's just whatever you prefer. So you can see here both products side by side in their pop-up state. The um, Sleek Garden on the left you can tell is more tall and slim and the Fiskars on the right is more round, you know, larger in diameter and shorter in height. So just a quick little measurement here. So this is the Sleek Garden and it measures a little over 18 inches across and lying on its side 28 inches tall. So taking a look at the Fiskars, it measures about 22 inches across and lying on its side 26 inches tall. So taking a closer look at the two products side by side, the Fiskars on the left and the Sleek Garden on the right, you may notice that the Sleek Garden does come with this drawstring top cover. So that's supposed to be handy if you are hauling things like leaves that could blow out. Um, and the Sleek Garden is also made of this strong durable canvas that's not supposed to rip or uh, mildew. The Fiskars is more of a slick kind of plastic material and it too is not supposed to tear and it also is resistant to mildew. So taking a walk around, it does look like the Fiskars does sag on this one side. Um, I don't know if it's the spring, not as strong, uh, not able to hold itself upright. Uh, compared to the Sleek Garden um, and I do notice also that the material um, does have more wrinkles and that just may be that that material is more prone to wrinkle. So taking a look at the Sleek Garden, that drawstring top, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to open and it does open really big and wide. So I was kind of concerned about that looking at this product on Amazon. It didn't really show how that opens up. So I'm glad you actually can, you know, pull it over the sides if you want to. That would kind of cover up the handle so it may be best just to kind of tuck it down in the inside and it should be out of the way. So taking a look down into the Sleek Garden Bag, you can see that reinforced plastic bottom with the drainage holes. It looks like it is attached very well. It's supposed to resist mildew, especially if you're packing in a lot of wet debris like leaves. Um, inside the Fiskars, it also has that plastic reinforced bottom with the drainage holes, and it does look like it is secured very well. So according to the Amazon product description for weight, the Fiskars here uh, does weigh around five pounds. You can see when I press it, it's a little wobbly, unsteady, and kind of bouncy. Uh, compared to the Sleek Garden here, when I press it, it does that quick little snap back and it weighs around uh, a little over three pounds. 
So here is a look at the reinforced handle of the Sleek Garden. So it does look very durable and uh, looks and feels comfy in the hand with the extra foam for the grip compared to the Fiskars that is also a reinforced handle and does look durable. It mm, is not as comfy in the hand. So I wanted to give you a closer look at the bottom. Here is the reinforced plastic bottom, the Fiskars on the left. Um, and the Sleek Garden on the right. They both come with the drainage holes. Um, you can see there the Sleek Garden with the drainage holes. The Fiskars actually do offer a um, collapsible garden bag in that $20 price point that does not come with the plastic reinforced bottom. So if you're interested in that. And you can see here they both come with handles um, at the bottom for easy dumping. I'm turning this one over here. So the Fiskars also has the handles on the bottom. So the handles on the bottom and the top make for easy dumping for whatever you want to dump them into when you're done. So guys, I just wanted to point out on the Sleek Garden with the drawstring top, it is able to be pulled up over the sides. Be mindful that it does cover those handles though, um, so you may not like uh, you know, doing this, but a couple of customers were saying on Amazon that um, when pulling things in and out, if the top was stuffed down the inside, it could get caught up on there. I don't know, I haven't used it yet, so I just wanted to point that out. So I would like to test how um, you know strong these springs are and how quickly they bounce back and kind of compare the two. So this is the Sleek Garden. So using my hand, I'm just gonna kind of press it down and see how quickly it bounces back. So here's a look at the Fiskars and I'm gonna do the same thing just by taking my hands, pressing it down to the ground, letting it go and see what it looks like, see what happens. So I just wanted to show you how I plan on using these collapsible garden bags. Here's a 42 gallon contractor bag. I love using these bags for cleanup. Um, you can pick these up at Lowe's. And so um, I want to see how well they will fit down into these collapsible garden bags. So it was easier to place the contractor bag inside of the sleek garden, the one on the left, because of that slimmer design. I did get the bag on the Fiskars. It was a little bit harder. You can see how tight it is at the top, but it is on there. So I wanted to do a quick recap of the similarities of these two products. Both the Fiskars and the Sleek Garden, both are that 30 gallon size. Both have that $30 price point. Both have the durable plastic bottom with the drainage holes. Both have the reinforced handles. And both are made of materials that are tear and mildew resistant. So now to recap the differences. So the Sleek Garden, it does have the drawstring top. The Fastex buckles. It is more of a tall and slim design. It does come with the softer handle grips. And it is a little over three pounds. And it does come with a 24 month warranty. So for the Fiskars, differences are, it is more of a round and short design. So a bigger in diameter, but shorter in height. It comes with the toggle loop closures and it weighs about five pounds. It does come with a lifetime warranty, which is better than the 24 month warranty that is offered by the Sleek Garden. So guys, I just wanted to give you my final thoughts on these products. So really both, I feel, uh, looking at them, you would not think that they are cheaply made or made with cheap materials. They both seem durable and like they would last um, with their reinforced bottoms and handles and their puncture and tear resistant materials that they're made out of. So I really feel, um, either one would be really good to have and would work like it is supposed to. However, I really do feel that the Sleek Garden collapsible garden bag will be the better choice for me. I really do like the drawstring top. It's there if I need it and if I don't want to use it, I can easily tuck it down in the inside and use contractor bags. 
And I do love that it does have that tall, more slim design because I'm a taller person and it will, you know, help me not to have to bend over as much. Also, the more comfy handles, I do like that, especially if you're carrying a heavier load, it will be more comfortable in the hand. And I just really like the uh, Fastex buckles. They just look higher quality than the toggle and loop design of the Fiskars. I do like that it comes with a 24 month warranty, but you know, let's face it, a lifetime warranty is a lot better. So I wish it did come with the lifetime warranty like the Fiskars does, but um, that is not a deal breaker for me. So in the end, the deciding factor for me was that the Fiskars Kangaroo pop-up bag just did not seem as stable at the base. It didn't want to hold itself as upright, and it tended to want to sag to one side. The spring just did not seem as strong compared to the Sleek Garden. So my plan is to take the Sleek Garden collapsible bag and start to use it on future projects. Later on, I think I will do a video review and, you know, tell you guys how this product is working for me. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope that it helps those of you that may want to pick up one of these products for yourself. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.